Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own basic patrolling AI through the use of waypoints. These waypoints are going to be represented in the scene with game objects, and then we will take those game objects and pull them into our scripts as transforms, so that way we can have our AI translate between them. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. The first thing we're going to do is set up our scene. I'm going to begin by putting in a plane. And then I'm going to have a sphere, and this sphere will represent our AI. And then I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to rename this waypoint. And I'm going to give it a size of 0.1. I'm just going to move it over this way. And then I'm going to duplicate it twice. And move these around wherever as well. From here, I'm going to go ahead and create a script. And I'm going to name it Patroller. And go ahead and open it up. The first thing we want to do is add our variables. I'm going to have two public variables. The first one's going to be that transform array for our waypoints. And then the second one is going to be an int. And this is going to be speed. And the reason I'm making this public instead of private is so that way you can use the same script but have AI act differently. So you can attach this onto an AI that you want walking between waypoints, as well as an AI that you want running between waypoints. And you can change the speed of them inside the inspector, instead of having to create different scripts for your different speeds. We're going to have two private variables as well. The first one is going to be our waypoint index. And this is how we're going to keep track of which waypoint we're on within the array. And then the next one is going to be a float and we're going to use this float to keep track of the distance between the AI and the current waypoint. From there, we can go ahead and initialize things inside of start. So we're going to go ahead and put our waypoint index to zero as we want this to start on the first waypoint in our array. And then we also want our transform to be looking at that waypoint. So I'm going to do transform.lookat waypoints waypoint index dot position. And this just has it to where the AI is facing towards the waypoint. So that way when we make the movement go forward on the AI, it will be moving in the direction of the waypoint. And then we're going to go ahead and skip update and create two functions. The first one is going to be patrol. And this is going to just be one line of code and it's going to be our movement. So I'm going to do transform.translate. And then we're going to do vector 3 dot forward. And this gets the z-axis of the AI. And then we're going to multiply it by our speed. And then we'll multiply it by time dot delta time. Our next function is going to be for incrementing our index. So we can go ahead and do void. And I'm going to name it increase index. And then inside this function, what we want to do is add to our waypoint index. And then we want to see if our waypoints index has gone out of range. So we'll go ahead and do waypoints index greater than or equal to our waypoints dot length. And this is checking if our waypoint index is greater than or equal to the array of our waypoints. If it is out of that range, we want to make sure to reset it back to zero. And then from there, the last thing to do inside this function is make sure that the transform is now looking at the new waypoint. So now that we've done all that, we can go back up to our update function and go ahead and fill in what we're going to put here. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and check the distance between our AI and its current waypoint. And the way we're going to do that is by using vector3.distance. And then we do transform.position. And then we're going to do waypoints, waypoint index, 
dot position. And now we want to check to see if that distance is within range of our waypoint. I'm going to make that range a value of 1. But you can have that range be whatever is most comfortable for your game. This is simply just saying is the position of our AI within one unit of our waypoint, and if so, we're going to go ahead and increase our index. And then each frame, we also want to make sure that we're patrolling so that way our AI is moving. And that's the entirety of the script, so we can go ahead and go back to the scene and click on our sphere. And then inside of this, we want to go ahead and add our script. We want our waypoint size to be 3, and then we can go ahead and drag all of our waypoints in. And the way your AI is going to traverse these is from element 0 to element 1 to element 2. I'm going to go ahead and give my player a speed of 2, and again the speed can be whatever you feel is best for your game. And before we test and play, I'm going to adjust the camera so we can better see the field. And I'm also going to add a material so that way everything isn't completely white. So now we can go ahead and play, and as you can see the sphere is going between the different waypoints and it will do this indefinitely. So as a recap, we put game objects into the scene to show where the AI would be patrolling, and then we pulled the transforms of those objects into an array in our script so that way we could iterate the AI between their positions. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.